Daniel Chavez is uh, going to meet Kai Kamaka 3 and uh, I've got to say that uh, Kai Kamaka is right on score of 8-4-0, fighting Hawaiian. 5 foot 7, 69 inches is his reach, fighting out of Bell City, Hawaii box wrestler. Unfortunately, he's riding a cold streak right now after back to back wins over Michael Stack at LFA. I interviewed Michael Stack after the victory over Tony Kelly, kicking off victory at the UFC. He suffered two back to back losses to Jonathan Pierce and uh, TJ Brown. At Bellator, he outworked Shot in Mickey Spencer Higa. I got to say that Kai Kamaka's stamina is really, really excellent. His fists are good, wrestling is good, but uh, when it comes to submission offense and defense, well, I can say that his submission defense might not be the greatest in the world, which we have seen against Jonathan Pierce, who tricked him into a submission attempt then finished him via ground and pound. But overall, Kai Kamaka is a pretty much tough opponent, good cardio, good stamina. He's going to meet Danny Chavez. Danny Chavez, uh, five foot eight, sixty-seven inches is his reach. Interesting that Danny Chavez is going to deal two-inch uh, reach uh, disadvantage, and this MMA Masters fighter also scored a win over T.J. Brown at the beginning of his career, and Kai Kamaka lost to T.J. Brown via split decision. But Danny Chavez suffered a loss to Jared Gordon, so the way I see it, Danny Chavez knows to finish people to turn the lights out on them, but. Uh, I am worried because he lost to Adi Alic. Adi Alic, hmm, probably this Bosnian fighter was really, really good, you know. But, uh, alright, he is not the, the guy he used to be, that's true. But uh, I am worried because of his loss to Adi Alic. I am worried because he was losing to some high-level athletes. On the other side, I believe right now Danny Chavez is in a better shape. I believe Danny Chavez is uh, better in the stand-up. And on the ground, it's like so-so. Also, looking back at the scores, Danny Chavez has, always, has only been finished uh, via guillotine once. He defeated John De Jesus. Jordan Parsons' loss kind of worries me, but Kai Kamaka's losses are a bit more, you know, to Brown, Pierce, Massa, Natividad. Hmm. This is going to be hard for me to pick a side, but let's go Danny Chavez. I'm like... I'm going to go with Danny Chavez on this one. I hope uh, Danny Chavez will extend uh, his winning streak. On the other side, Kai Kamaka, if he loses now, he might get released. So he is fighting for, for survival. But let's go Danny Chavez. He's